Local business owner calls the troubleshooters asking for help with four phone lines. The lines are essential since they plan to reopen for business this Friday. Andy Lascano went to check it out. Hello, Lucy Lund. Ah, uh, yes, the sweet sound of a telephone ringing. At least it is to Sue Gray, owner of Lou's Saloon, right there in the corner of Leopard and Navigation. She called us because four telephone lines in the business have been down since the second week of April, and the credit card machines run off of those phone lines, so they didn't work either. Customers were coming in to pick up orders from the kitchen only to find out they couldn't pay with credit cards. Norma Arriga talked to them. So a lot of people were kind of upset because they had to run to the store to, you know, as it is the bar itself was closed, they couldn't go upstairs for the ATM, so they had to run to the store, you know, to get cash. So Gray says she started calling AT&T because that's who she has an account with. Remember, she said the lines went out in early April. You call the repair number, and then you have to wait, and then you have to be on hold, and then you have to push a button to talk to somebody that's a real person. Then that takes 30 to 45 minutes. Gray says AT&T finally told her the problem was that a line had been hit near the Harbor Bridge, but it would be repaired within a couple of days. And that's when she says she called the troubleshooters. And we contacted AT&T late Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday night, a matter of just a few hours later, Gray's personal phone rang. They called me last night at 7 o'clock and told me all the phone lines were working. They were here early this morning to check all the phone lines that they were working to make sure that, that the credit card machine was working and everything. Uh, instead of chicken fried steak today, we have hamburger steaks. Okay. So, 7 o'clock Friday morning, it'll be business as usual at Lou's Saloon. Andy Lascano, Action 10 News. See a happy ending. Well, if you need help from the troubleshooters, send us an email to troubleshooters at kztv10.com.